There's a confused mind, believes lies, the seemeth right ways, tossed to and fro with every whim and doctrine, like that ship that's on the sea. Somebody can get over here and preach some new doctrine, and they'll stand back and, oh, man, that sounds pretty good. You mean I can kill somebody and everything still be all right? Hey, you mean I can get on pills and still come on? That's all right. The devil will lie to you just because it sounds good. Just because it's popular and other people are preaching it, it could be a heresy. It could be a doctrine of a devil if it don't line up with God's word. There's a wicked and an evil mind thinking of ways to sin and do wrong. There's people tonight got a spiteful mind doing things just to get back at others for meanness on purpose. You know, I'll, I'll get at you. I'll show you something. That's a wrong mind to have. Matthew 22, verse 37, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. The mind is very important tonight. A lot of people don't realize how important your mind is. If the devil can get in your mind, he'll get into your heart, he'll get into your legs, and he'll get into all of you. And then you're directed by the devil. That's why you see so much violence going on in her land. That's why you see so many people being abused and raped and killing and murders and stealing and drugs and all this on a rampage. It tells me that the devil's got into people's minds. Do you think Jesus would do things like that? No. What would Jesus be doing? He'd be doing things like help people and love people. We need that right mind, thinking of ways to lead people to God and Jesus, love and kindness, and, and on the right things. Anything that's of a good report, think on these things, the Bible says. Think on these things. I'll tell you what, and one last thing tonight, and we might get the girls to sing us off the program, a little silent night, holy night, if they do that. We need a mind that is fixed, a made-up mind. Amen. I want to learn God's word. I want to listen to men of God that will bring forth the real truth of God's word. I'm not going to sit and, and be here twiddling my thumbs and bored out of my head. I'm going to receive God's promises. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for some people that want to receive his word. There's some people right now, Brother James, on the sound of my voice. Come on, brother. They're tore up in their mind. Brother James, I feel led. We need to pray for some people tonight. Amen. Amen. All these different minds that I've, through them by Jesus, brought out. There's people suffering with this. Yes. And brother, I'd like you to lead us in prayer tonight. Lord, Heavenly Father, you take and move up on the ones that's listening right now, Father. Let their ears be open, Father. Lord, and reach down and touch their hearts. Lord, and let your word pierce them right now. Oh, in Jesus' name. Well, Father, it's by your word, Father, it reaches out and touches them and doles out to the ones that's lost. Lord, right now we ask you to move upon them. Lord, and bless them and let their heart be humbled unto you. And let their minds, Fathers, yes. get unclogged. Oh. For the devil may have them all bodied up with faults and things that's in their minds. Lord, we ask right now, and we take and bind it to be done in yes. Jesus' name. Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one yes. under the sound of our voice, Father. Because it's by the blood that takes the powerful, oh, Father, and cleanses them from all things. Lord, and we give you the glory, and we give you the praise. We lift up your name, yes. Lord. For it's your name above all names, Father. And we ask this to be done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.